Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning La La Land. We're honoring hashtag Friday Feels today. We have Hollywood power couple in the house, one of my two favorite people, Eric and Santi Nelson. Thank you so much for being here. Oh my gosh. Thank, thank you. you. We're thank so excited. Thank you for excited. coming. And we mentioned earlier in the show, we met them on the red carpet, and it was an incredible season. The Bay had 15 nominations. You actually won an Emmy for Best Supporting Actor. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Did you visualize getting to where you are today? No. 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 <laughs> well, it's it very day to day. Yeah. yeah. Like, we're, yeah. we always say, I love you, but I think you said hustle. It's like, I call myself like a bona fide hustler in the sense of like, we are always going and just like always trying to make things happen and happen for our friends too. Mm. I think that's so important here. It's like, I love with all the comedy guys that they always stick with their team. And that's what we try to do. And uh, Gregory, who's the head of the Bay, is very like, it's such a family unit. And I think that keeps us all sane and loving each other is because we want to stick with our crew. And I think that's where sometimes it gets a little lost here is you've got to have that foundation mm. of people around you. But that seems like what the daytime, you know, television really is about. That's the, the yeah. unique thing that really is that's touched me through, you know, covering the daytime Emmys is these are family units. And then also you're going into people's homes as you're literally their family. You're in their living rooms yeah. with them every single day. This is huge. And it's so, like, I forget sometimes we go places and I'm like, oh my God, there's my friend. And they're, I'm like, Lord, they're not my friend. <laughs> <laughs> like, I never met them. Right, never, right. They don't know me. And my mom just said, she went up to Katie McClain and she was like, Katie, hi girl. <laughs> and Katie's looking at her like, oh God, I should, should I know you? Like, and no, but my mom, I think that's the beautiful part is daytime TV. You grow up with these people. You have your, you're feeding your children and watching soaps at the same time. It's so cool. And watching this, like, good morning. I bet everyone feels like they know y'all. I mean, oh. we act like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. At least our, our moms are always calling us and being like, oh, okay, so tell us more about this. I mean, every day yeah. I, I have to debrief my mom about everything that happens on the show. And then afterwards, we'll have, like, therapists on, and she's like, you're going to make me an appointment with them, right? Like, yes, mom. But it's true. You know, it, I grew up watching daytime television with my mom, and we were loyal to General Hospital, right? Oh, nice. And, yeah. But those were, like, the stories and the characters that I remember growing up. And so you guys have such a unique responsibility and role in that. I mean, people do consider you family, whether you know them or not. It's a very unique dynamic. It's crazy. It's crazy. And it's so funny how many times, especially back in the day when I was doing All My Children, where I'd get uh, these moms who are like, I literally scheduled my college classes around your show to so <laughs> make sure that I could watch that show and still be able to go to college at the oh. same time. Oh, you have no idea. I had girlfriends that did that. Uh -huh. And 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 then do you remember the passions came out? Like that soap opera passions? Of course. They would schedule their classes around that. So then I'd have to schedule my classes around her scheduling her classes around. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my God. What That's when I knew it was real. Yeah. It is so crazy. Yeah. It's amazing. It's like Eric and I giggle because we I'm on trolls right now. And like I'll hear little kids like quote my character. And especially with being like animation, they're like, holy cow, like, it's so crazy. Mm -hmm. You forget how much you affect other people. Because right. we just live it. And especially yeah. yours, because Trolls, you know, there's this smash hit phenomenon in the movie theaters, and now Netflix made a TV show. And a lot of these kids, like, their first words will be, like, Whoa. her tagline, sizzle. Like, yeah. you know, like, it's so That's crazy. so amazing. It's so great. We, like, if anything, Eric and I always sit in bed and we're like, no matter what, we did like the best we could and we made such a mark mm -hmm. for us. It's like, I was just talking to my best friend last <clears throat> night, it's like, not unrealistic goals, but sometimes if you go to like the 15, instead of just getting to the 10, mm -hmm. like I think it's so important to keep manageable goals and I think that's what we do so often. So it makes the bigger goals even more special because mm -hmm. we've earned it, we've worked that way each step on the ladder to get there. Mm -hmm. And I think that's been so important to us and I think how we remain so healthy and humble in our so relationship. Far, so good. I know. Yeah. I'm saying this right now. So, on Good Morning Online, we talk a lot about inspiration and we have a lot of faith based people. We have whatever we, and we honor all different practices. But you guys did talk about principles that you live by within your relationship. Are there any principles you live by? Like Absolutely. As as, you know, yes. Spiritually, like what? I mean, it's the whole Southern thing, you know, it's just good people. So, you know, <laughs> right, right, right. 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 But, good morals down yeah, there. Right. Uh, but no, we both come from a very religious background, actually. Both of our families um, are big know. Catholic families. That's why we got a lot. Like, I had 15 bridesmaids, he had 15 groomsmen. Oh, oh, yeah. That was a long wedding. It was. It was. 
it was. Cue um, Ave Maria right now. It's so true. <laughs> it's like huge Catholic families. Yeah, and I think growing up in the church and growing up in that sort of atmosphere and environment, you know, gave us the tools uh, that we use every single day today. And um, you know, in a town like LA, and before that, we were living in New York City. It's hard to find that, you know, and you get lost and you get kind of wrapped up in the world. Uh, but when when you know you have that one solid thing that's going to get you through it, and you know totally. that to have that faith is really uh, it's amazing. Yeah, whether it be faith in yourself, whatever your kind of belief is, I think it is like you said, so important to have some sense of spirituality. Mm. Is that how you say it? Spirituality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you say it any way you want. Well, I'm yeah. sure. yeah. No, Eric yeah. said yeah. it. I call it sainteism. Yeah. And I shall admit, <laughs> and Eric's sitting there like dying. He's like, stop, please stop. Just stop talking. Oh, my mom what, loves it. I know. It's like his three moms always like, oh, it's another sainteism. Yeah. I'm like, I just can't help it. But I think it's so important to have that, whether whatever your religion is or your faith is to have that sense of something's always there. Who would you consider to be your role models or your inspirations? Oh, goodness. Um, my parents and Eric, mm -hmm. I think, are, I wish, I wake up every day hoping to be half the person Eric is, and I think that keeps me, like, I'm a pain in the rear, and probably sometimes you're a pain in the rear, but I think that's what keeps me going. I'm like, God, he's so epic and mm -hmm. so kind, and, like, if I could just be half of that, I think, Wow. That is so important. You guys need to teach some serious relationships. No, you need to be a game yeah. coach. Oh, right. <laughs> coach. Both of you. Oh, well, that it's so much easier to say now. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I always say. It's like, yeah. God, I'm, we, anybody goes to the ringer. But I think it's so much easier to say now. It's like, and having brothers. Mm. I think it's so easy being a girl looking at relationships if you come from brothers. Because mm -hmm. I view everything from like, okay, how would Jake and Charlie view mm. this? Right. And it does keep me saying, because I'm like, I always say guys are black and white and the girls we color them in. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, am I making this way too complex than <laughs> what it actually yeah. needs I would, to be? I had one sister and I grew up with all girls and I was like, a big wake up call when you grow up and you're like, how men are completely mindless. <laughs> like, what? You know? It's so yeah. funny that you say that about your brother because uh, <laughs> I think it's the exact opposite for me. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. what would Joe and Matt do? <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> No, do the opposite. Do the opposite. <laughs> no, we're 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 all so close. I can I can joke with them about that. Um, but um, no, it's funny because uh, you know when I when I was um, accepting the award for act best supporting actor, um, and I and I had my family in the audience, and I made a you know a point of mentioning my father-in-law, uh, who really is my hero, um, in so many ways. I mean. You know his marriage, the way he's fathered his children. You know the the just support that he's shown us since day one has just been you know unprecedented. And I just I can't wait to be that guy when I'm older and to have that influence. I feel very blessed for that. Hashtag goals. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Hashtag I mean. life goals, relationship goals, all the above. You do realize that some producers just went back there, locked the doors. You guys are stuck here with us forever. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> We love the love. Oh my Good morning, God. Lala Land and St. Tina. Yeah. <laughs> was, was there ever a point in your careers where you thought about giving up? I think a lot of people struggle. You know, that's like they have a period of time where things are going really well, and then maybe things are a little slow, and then they're like, man, I don't, maybe I should do something else. But you guys stuck through it all. Was it, has it always been highlights, or were there moments when you felt like maybe you were going to give up? No, there were lulls. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. that's, I think that's the hardest part about this industry is like you're on top of your game one day and then the next day they pull the plug the show ends you know the curtain comes mm -hmm. down and then what mm -hmm. it's like how do you take that and make it better and grow from there and that's the hardest part there's been so many times where you know you just think i'm not enough you know there's you, you see somebody else and you're like they're great like they're gonna get it over me every time why mm -hmm. wouldn't they you know what i mean what am, what can i do um but that's when you resort to the people in your life that make you better. Mm. And I think that's been our biggest saving grace is, you know, even before it was each other, um, you know, in my case, it was my mom or uh, maybe some friends that were going through the same exact thing so we could kind of do it together. Um, now it's like heightened by a million because you, you know, it's when you're with your best friend every single day, it just makes those little way easy. And it's like, oh, well, then let's just go on a day trip and we'll forget about this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll worry about it tomorrow. Really yeah. about that. Yeah. Well, let's go to Santa Barbara. It's right. so true. Yeah. It is, that's what I always, 
my mom, I always call my mom, because like, I am an extremist, if you haven't learned, so I'm either amazing or it's the worst thing <laughs> and I'm done. And so I always like, we'll call her and she's like, girl, cry it out. And then I'll ball and she's like, all right, what are we gonna do tomorrow? And I think that's the way I view them, like always allow yourself to have that moment of like, oh, I'm done. Mm. And then it gives you, you're like, all right, that's all I needed. Like sometimes you just need a good cry or a good yeah. vent session that Eric's always, he always tells us like, girl, get off the ride. Get, Cause I'll just get a tailspin of it's like- It's a great expression. Yeah. I'm ruined, yeah. like that's it. And he's like, ride the ride and get it off. Yeah. Like, and that's so true. I think that's what we live our lives is we ride the ride and we can always tell it when to stop. Mm. So true, what we resist persists. And I think it's important as, as a couple to allow the other person to have a crappy day here or there or whatever moment or whatever and not make the other person wrong. I think that that's one thing I've been noticing in this you know, uh, talk here is you guys are just building each other up so yeah. much. And I think that the, the worst thing you can do, whether it be for your loved one, your mother or anyone is making them wrong. It's just a, it's a, it's a sickness. It's just not gonna go anywhere but down. You guys are so beautiful to witness how you build each other up how you just like hello my mentor is my husband like I mean that's like who inspires me my husband like that's so beautiful you guys and so authentic that's yeah. really thank you so yeah. touching yeah and, and we're all human at the end of the day too I mean no one's perfect you know we're not perfect um, no, and that's definitely. that's part of life yeah. I mean, we go through our ups and downs and you know that you just have to remember that as well like yeah. you know that happens to everybody it is so, so and we're both in our late 20s and I feel like there's such a shift all of a sudden it's like one day I woke up and it's like and my parents and his mom always taught me this life does go on and I it's so silly but I've been doing this hiking journey and been hiking every day and I overlook the city and I'm like it's just a city mm -hmm. it's just a town it's so interesting when you hike and you have a new perspective yes. how it just changes everything it is so silly but it makes me I'm like no matter what happens, it's just a town. Mm -hmm. And like our parents always like, you can always move back. Like it is just life does move on. And it's for the good and for the bad sometimes, but it does just move on. Mm. Well, you've had a great chapter right now. So that's what <laughs> yeah, we're doing. We're not in it right we're now. We're not gone yet. We're here right now. And you guys, right. hello, like red carpet. I mean, like incredible. So yeah. stick so on this wonderful. ride for a while. <laughs> we're right now. Yeah, as I told my mom yesterday, I was like, God, please. Like, I feel like everything's too good right now. Like, <laughs> that's what I told Eric. I kind of have to now keep life at like a seven instead of going to a 10, just so I don't fall all the way to that one or the two. It really does test how good you believe it can get, doesn't it? Oh my gosh. Yeah, it, it does. It's um, There's an author we love, um, Robert Holden. He's a positive psychologist and he writes books on happiness and he often talks about the happiness and success contracts that we have with ourselves, that we keep in our head, about how good we think can, things can get before they have to get bad. And he oh, said, wow. that's just something we've all made up and we can let that so go. True. Yeah, so, um, but it's such a great point. I think we all struggle with that at times. Yeah, yeah. so you're yeah. like waiting for yeah. it to all like yeah. halt. Yeah. Yeah. So let's take it to a 10. Right? Yeah. 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 Let's just do it. Thank you so much for being here today. We're so excited to be a part of your journey and to witness the light and the love you two share. Thank you, Thank you guys. So guys. We're we so happy guys. to be here. Really, Thank you. Stay tuned, we'll be back with more on Good Morning La La Land.